Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll show you how to do a neural networks autoregression, which is neural networks applied to time series data. A very, very exciting technique and also very simple to apply. If you're interested in learning more about forecasting models and time series, I have a course on Udemy. I'll leave the link in the description for you to check it out. The first thing that we need to do is to get some data in order to apply our neural networks autoregression. We need a couple of libraries, so library zoo, control enter, and then library, and then we have the forecast library, control enter again, and then to get our data, we do data, and then what we include here is simply the gold one. Here we go, control enter again, and now let's have a look at our data. So let's click on gold, control enter, and let's increase. So we see a lot of NA, so this is something that we need to fix. I would also say that since we are dealing with a price, and this is something that fluctuates over time, I find it useful that, for instance, we replace the NAs by just their immediate values. For instance, this NA by the 455.90. Another thing that I want to do is that when I look at this and I see this frequency one, this does not particularly make sense. We're dealing with the daily price of gold. So I'll change the frequency to 365. On top, the start equals one is also something that does not make sense. The starting point is the year 1985. So we also need to add that. Starting with the NA, so gold equals two. Then we use this function called na.locf. And then inside what we include is gold. And then from last, because we are taking or replacing the NAs with the previous values. So from last equal to true. The next step is to add the starting point, which should then be the 1985 and change the frequency. So gold equals TS for time series. And then inside we include gold. Start equals 1985. And then the frequency equals two. And then I include 365. Let's do control enter. And now, yes, we're finally ready to do our neural networks autoregression and how to do this. It's super, super simple. So we create a, something called a model. So let's store our neural networks there. Then use the function nentar. So N-N-E-T-A-R. And then inside, there are plenty of things that we can do. And let me just you know show you around for a bit. So F1 and neural networks, time series forecasts. We have the Y, which is what we will include. So gold. And then we also have the P. So this is the number of lags that we want to include in our auto regression. We also have the number of seasonal lags, the size overall, the repeats. If you want to add external regressors as well, there are some other components like decaying in order to minimize the overfitting. So there's a lot that you can do for us. Let's keep it simple. Let's just include gold and create our model. And now what can we do with it so we can do a forecast here we go forecast equals and then we use the function forecast and then we include our model and then we need to include a time horizon that will forecast so h equals let's do 100 and let's do control enter the last thing is let's plot our forecast visualization is absolute key and here we go let me zoom in and what we see is that our forecast based on the trend, it is continuously uh, going down. As a result, I hope you see how easy it is to apply neural networks autoregression. I am very much looking forward to seeing you in another video. Please give the video as well a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And until then, have fun.